Okay, the problem we have today is with the threshold. So we'll get a close up here so you can see it. So you can see the gap here where this, this piece of wood here broke in half. So I got to get a new piece in here. This is even loose so I can pull it out. Now what I need to do is cut me a new piece that goes in here. First thing I got to do is take my measurements from the back here to the front. So it's about an inch and three eighths. These, uh, these screws come out pretty easy. You can use either an Allen wrench or I have the same fitting on my drill. So they just spin out real quickly, pull them out. This is a pretty easy piece to shape. It's just got one little rise on it right here and the rest is just a flat piece. So it's gonna be about one and three eighths of an inch this way with about a one eighth, one quarter inch rise on this little stub area. And then it's just gonna go fit right back in here. I actually repaired this about four years ago. And I guess water just getting in here eventually rotted it out again. This time we're going to fix it with PVC. We're going to go ahead and make our replacement piece. Okay, the, the vinyl I used to make this out of was just a regular trim piece, PVC trim piece from big box stores, measuring an inch and a half by five eighths of an inch. So it should be an inch and a half by three quarter inch piece of trim molding. Okay, I'm not going to actually run the router, but to get the profile on a new piece that I put in, all I did was use a, a router bit of this type right here. And what I did was I put my old piece that had the lip on it back here and then adjusted my fence. Then adjusted my fence forward so it would leave this gap. After that, I made my first pass on my router and it left the, the lip that we're seeing right here. And I turned it around and moved my fence up a little bit more and turned it around and cut the rest of it out. Once that was complete, I, I drilled my holes where they needed to be, but they used a larger bit just to make a V-shaped countersink so that the screw holes, just the top of the screws could go below the top of the threshold. It's time to paint it and reinstall it. But I shouldn't have any problem at all with a PVC threshold now. It should last forever. So if you didn't have a router, you could also make this cut on a table saw. Okay, we got the replacement piece painted. We're ready to put it back in. We're just gonna slide it back in place and put our screws in. Okay, we have them all started. We're just gonna go ahead and... Got the seal back in and uh, should never rot again now that made out of PVC. You can see with the door closed, I have a good tight fit, shouldn't have any issues with water getting inside.